fisheries since the other two components are being implemented, sir. Sir, under the second guarantee, Raitu Barosa, the government has to announce the timeline for implementation of enhanced assistance of rupees 15,000 per acre to the farmers, as also extension of scheme to tenants of tenant farmers beside assistance of rupees 12,000 per annum to agricultural labor and provision of rupees 500 for paddy per quintal, sir. Sir, we hope that the government will soon come out with a timeline and guidelines for the implementation of the third guarantee relating to Gruha Jyoti scheme for providing 200 unit free electricity to the households, sir. Sir, when I talk about Gruha Jyoti scheme, sir, sir, I was reading the Honorable Governor's speech, sir, in that she had mentioned that eligible, but when I go through the manifesto, it is written 200 units free electricity for all household. So, sir, I just want to understand because, and I want the government to come clear on this. Sir, in the manifesto, it has not written anywhere that eligibility will be the criteria or any criteria would be laid down to select the beneficiaries. Sir, now, if they are going to say that okay, they are going to have some guidelines or white ration card would be mandate to select the beneficiaries, the question arises is that free travel for women. All the women, every woman are allowed to travel free. They are not giving free travel to white ration card holders women. They are giving it to every woman. So I hope that the Congress government would continue the promises made in the manifesto, sir. Sir, I may point out that while the Congress manifesto speaks about 200 units of free electricity for all households, the governor in address has qualified this by pointing out that 200 units of free domestic power will be given to all eligible households. So this is the which I have said again. Sir, so similarly, the government has to come up with a schedule for implementing the fourth guarantee relating to Indramma Hindu scheme under which families not owing a house are to be provided with house site and rupees 5 lakh financial assistance for construction of the house. Another component of this guarantee is provision of 250 square yards of house sites to all Telangana movement fighters in the state. We would like to know the status of its implementation and likely number of beneficiaries, sir. Sir, under the fifth guarantee, Yuva Vikasam, the government has to come up with the time frame and guidelines for implementing of Vidya Bharosa card for providing financial assistance of rupees 5 lakhs, sir. Sir, when I talk about Yuva Vikasam, sir, I would like to say that in 2021, many students SC, ST, BC minorities ke scholarships or fees reimbursement ko release nahi kiya gaya. Main aap ke zariye hukumat se mutalibah karunga ke ya scholarships ko release kariye. Kuch to is sa release ki jiye. Aur jab tak aap release karte hai panel speaker sir main aap ke zariye hukumat se mutalibah karna chahunga ke jab tak ke aap paisa release karte hai at least एक इंस्ट्रक्शन इशू कीजिए सारे कॉलेजेस को या सारे सोसाइटीज और ट्रस्ट जो ये कॉलेजेस चलाते हैं जिनके फीसेस ड्यू हैं वो लोग आज स्टूडेंट्स के सर्टिफिकेट को होल्ड कर रहे हैं सर्टिफिकेट्स को रिलीज नहीं कर रहे हैं एटलीस्ट आप ये इंस्ट्रक्शंस दीजिए कि जब तक फीस रिएम्बर्स होगी और पैसा कॉलेजेस को जाएगा तब तक के वो किसी भी स्टूडेंट्स को हरासा ना करे परेशान ना करे हैरेस ना करे उनके सर्टिफिकेट्स को रिलीज से ना रोके दिस ऑर्डर इज हैज टू बी इशूड सर बिकॉज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर सफरिंग मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव कंप्लीटेड देयर ग्रेजुएशन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव टू सबमिट देयर ओरिजिनल सर्टिफिकेट्स फॉर द एम्प्लॉयमेंट सर नौकरी के लिए जहां पर भी नौकरी मिली सर्टिफिकेट्स देना है लेकिन कॉलेजेस के पास सर्टिफिकेट्स हैं 
और वो सर्टिफिकेट्स को नहीं दे रहे इसलिए क्योंकि फीस री उनको नहीं हुआ है मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि हुकूमत इस पर तवज्जो देगी ये बहुत ही बड़ा मसला है स्टूडेंट्स का उनके मुस्तबिल का और इस पर गौर करेंगे टाइम लाइन हैज टू बी स्पेल्ड फॉर एस्टेब्लिशिंग तेलंगाना इंटरनेशनल स्कूल इन एवरी मंडल इन द स्टेट अंडर द सिक्स गारंटी द गवर्नमेंट चयू था द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू टेक स्टेप फॉर रेजिंग द मंथली पेंशन ऑफ रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड टू सीनियर सिटीजन विडो डिजेबल बीडी वर्कर सिंगल वुमेन बॉडी वेवर्स एड्स एंड फिलेरिया एंड किडनी पेशेंट सर द सीलिंग ऑफ एसिस्टेंस ऑन द आर ऑफ Rajiv Arogeshri health insurance has been raised to 10 lakhs but the government needs to re revise the tariff to be charged by the private hospital for treatment of serious ailment requiring hospitalization and surgeries since rates are fixed many years ago sir sir i have also made a request and once again i want to make a request sir sir there is a problem been faced by teaching hospitals sir sir there are many procedures which are not allowed or included in the private hospitals list sir sir i i request through you to the government to kindly include those procedures of arogeshri which are included only in government hospitals at least include those procedures in all the teaching hospitals sir if this is included it will give a teaching material to the private colleges sir and at the same time sir i would also like to make a request i was reading in the newspapers honorable chief minister saab had called the meeting of health department and he had decided that every month the arogeshri dues for the government hospitals will be released and every 3 months every 3 months the private hospitals dues will be released sir sir i request through you sir when you have decided for release of arogeshri dues to government hospital every month kindly release the dues of arogeshri of all the private teaching hospital at least once in two months sir if not every month so that you know sir the reason why i am requesting and demanding this is that the scholarships are due at one side and the arogeshri amount is due so it is becoming very tough and challenging for the private institutions to survive sir like if i have to give my own example my party runs chain of education institutes sir we have a medical college engineering college mba mca nursing pharmacy physiotherapy architecture sir the total fees reimbursement of scholarship amount that is due to darul salam education trust is more than 50 crore sir sir also we run two hospitals one by the name ovc hospital and asra hospital sir sir we have treated 25000 arogeshri patients in last 5 years sir and the amount which is due in these two hospital have risen to more than 20 crores one side there is a due of 20 crores of arogeshri and other side 50 crores of fees reimbursement 70 crores of due so you can just imagine how tough it is to run an institute and a institute to survive these these issues needs to be considered and think twice sir because this is a very important issue sir sir going further ahead sir sir i would also like to say that sir the promise under the three chapters of good governance guarantee declaration and manifesto highlights up to 184 sir so, so the promises group under 37 subjects under chapter 4r 279 the total comes to 463 promises and we if we have to leave out the repetitions there are certainly no less than 365 promises which works out for each day of the calendar year sir 365 promises sir so the governor has pointed out that the government has receive 1.28 crore applications for availing the benefits under guarantees these application relate to five guarantees including the guarantee on yuva vikasam sir i would like to know when will the government call for applications under yuva vikasam guarantee sir since the congress has announced that it will implement the six guarantees and ma and manifesto promises within 100 days of its 
coming to power, we would like the government to spell out the timeline and action plan for implementation. The remaining 